the Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the most diverse, active and established board of its kind for the video game industry. Here is just one of the many, many positions being advertised right now. Location, Los Angeles, California, with our mythical games, a next-generation game technology studio. We believe that true ownership of digital assets, verifiable scarcity, and integrated secondary markets will spawn a new generation of games. This new economies, this time digital ownership, will bring players, developers, and content creators closer to the games they love. We are a team of veteran game and platform developers with a passion for bringing big innovative concepts to market. Our goal is to create world-class products that drive consumer adoption of distributed ledger technology through games. We are looking for a talented and driven 3D C engineer, a technical artist who will be responsible for designing, building, and maintaining Mythical's 3D creation studio platform. We are looking for someone with a passion for gaming and computer graphics. Required experience. Interested? Apply now. Whether you are just starting out, looking for something new, or just seeing what's out there, the Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the place where game developers move ahead in their careers. The more Sutra's Job Board is the most diverse, most active, and most established board of its kind in the video game industry, serving companies of all sizes, from indie to triple, looking for a new job. Get started here. Are you a recruiter looking for talent? Post jobs here. The Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the most diverse, active and established board of its kind for the video game industry. Here is just one of the many, many positions being advertised right now. Location, North Hollywood, California, Game Mechanic Studios in North Hollywood, California within miles from the NoHo Arts District. Game Mechanic Studios was established in 2000, on date with the goal of making great games with amazing people. Over the last 10 years, we have had the pleasure of working with some of the biggest publishers in games like Activision, Warner Brothers, and Microsoft on AAA mobile and console projects. Thanks to emerging technologies from Oculus, HTC, and Samsung, we are now blazing the trails on multiple fronts in which games, movies, and education have all converged onto the single most immersive platform in entertainment, virtual reality, with unparalleled support from both Valve and Epic. We are excited to be at the forefront of this technology. At the end of the day, it's the creativity, teams, and people that inspire us. And in turn we hope to inspire them. Game Mechanic Studios is looking for Adam Play Engineer to join our team to assist in the engineering and design process. The candidate must be able to communicate well, is self-motivated and has sublimity, and on real experience in 3D games. The ideal candidate will have experience in all the following unity skills. The ideal candidate will have experience in all the following unreal skills, requirements, responsibilities, interested, apply now, whether you are just starting out, looking for something new, or just seeing what's out there. The Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the place where game developers move ahead in their careers. The more Sutra's Job Board is the most diverse, most active and most established board of its kind in the video game industry, serving companies of all sizes, from indie to triple, looking for a new job. Get started here. Are you a recruiter looking for talent? Post jobs here. Twinfold is a game of a roguelike, addition a battle against a square, foes as you double up numbers. It's a mixture of multiple game styles, drawing from threes, the roguelike works of Michael Brown, and the clarity of information from Into the Bridge. 
This mixture makes a compelling playstyle that draws players in toward its labyrinth of number merging, mean spirited cubes. Gunnar Sutra spoke with Clay Sun, developer of Twinfold, to learn more about mingling several ideas to make a unique title. The importance of procedural generation to making Twinfold an appealing experience, and how testing and bouncing ideas of a friend can help make a game come together. I think I came up with the idea after playing into the breach. Then I stole a bunch of mechanics from Threes and Michael Brewer's Roblox. I liked how Into the Breach provided perfect information to the player. Turning what looked like a strategy game into kind of a puzzle game. So, I wrote, into the bridge style dungeon crawler, into my notebook, and then I made to unfold. I do not remember how the idea got kicked off. There is not usually a story behind how I come up with ideas is not really an important part of the process for me. I took the number merging and board movement mechanics from threes, and the objective and the wall shifting mechanics from Imbroglio. I figured the fact that both games are played on small grids meant that those mechanics would mesh well. At first, combat was similar to Imbroglio, a single pause, where if you were next to an enemy and slid towards them, you would only attack them instead of sliding the whole board. This felt unintuitive and did not really fit with the main mechanic. Then, my roommate Gabe came up with the idea that sliding enemies into walls would hurt them, and the whole thing clicked. Thanks Gabe. I did not really think about the design as a simplification of those kinds of games. It was more of a matter of tying ideas together. By overlaying all mechanics, a lot of the simplification work came from the games as though from the complexity came naturally out of the main mechanic. Once I had the basic building blocks in, the complicated puzzle solving was already there. My first sketch of the game was already pretty close to the final product. I think the addition of the wall slashing mechanic was the only major discovery. There were plenty of minor iterations on the design, though, at first, the numbers only added one to their value whenever they merged, which felt unsatisfying. You used to only be able to undo moves that caused a game over. The enemies used to not get hurt when they ran into walls. At one point, there was no cap to how much mana you could hold, which encouraged the farming and felt grindy. The enemies used to spawn more frequently, to a point where you were constantly only thinking about how to deal with them without having a chance to merge. The danger meter used to be invisible to the player. Most of those changes came from playtester feedback. Usually, games. most of them were created to counter a single gameplay mechanic. Great enemies do not move. Blue enemies are not affected by walls. Purple enemies do not fall into pits. Red enemies do not get hurt when slashed against walls. Each of those enemy types requires the player to use a slightly different strategy to deal with them. My roommate Gabe came up with the green enemies that only go for the gold, and the evil twin enemies that move the whole board. Those two enemy types appear less often, and are there to switch things. A pair of ones in a while. To be honest, the skills were the part of the game that I put the least amount of thought into. I knew I had to make a lot, so I just added whatever came to mind as long as they made sense with the game's mechanics and were easy to implement. I never considered designing stages for this game, so it was not really a conscious decision. I feel like procedural generation. It's a fundamental part of the experience, and the game would not make sense without it. I had to do a lot of work to make sure the generated layouts did not seem unfair. The biggest challenge I faced, which I did not actually end up solving, was figuring out how to keep solutions within a reasonable difficulty range. 
Between each wall setup, the variance in steps required to pull off a merge can be very high. To fix this, it would be required a special pathfinding algorithm that I did not feel like implementing. It probably would be a better game if I do spend the time to do it, but I do not think it would be doing better enough to warrant the effort.